Okay. So only yeah. on here. Okay, because that is a number that I'll often take a look at to see how many tokens are there on that exchange that can be mm -hmm. bought. And I know that when the number of million tokens in the Uniswap pools decreases, that's when we start seeing a lot more upward pressure with price. And I don't know if that's going back to that comment of when we have less liquidity, we have more of that squeeze on the available tokens, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I just, one more time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now, um, the screen that I'm looking at, we've got Uniswap V3 MM USD C2. There is, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's 46 or 48,000 million tokens that are in that address. Yeah, 48. Okay, pardon? Yeah, For, yeah 48. Yeah. Okay, so when I, one of the things, oh, we can go back actually to that screen if we can for a second. Uh huh. So, so I'm actually sharing the. <laughs> I thought you're... you are sharing the yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. just because I'm sharing the screen and sh she's talking about. It, I'm thinking, <laughs> uh, uh, which screen is she looking at? Her screen on this one. There you go. <laughs> the, yeah, I'm looking at this one. So, um, one of the things that like over the uh, journey of million token here, whenever our price started really going up and kind of squeezing a bit, and I say squeeze because um, that was like when we had less million tokens available to actually be purchased. That's where the price starts to go up and up and up, right? Like when we start running out of tokens exactly. to be able to be purchased, Correct. that's where we're going to exactly. see the next tokens. So that was kind of why I'm curious that when we're putting tokens into the liquidity pool, we're, we're actually increasing these balances. And that's where I'm wondering, you know, if we were to take some of that liquidity out or if people were, you know, we've got all those people stuck in these super high ranges that might not even be earning anything, um, if those are back actually in their wallet accounts, would we see an upward pressure on the price? That's that's an now we've got question. less million token available to be purchased. Uh... Not necessarily, because if they take it out, it doesn't it doesn't change the value of MM token. Um, it's like it's just basically like supply and demand. Like if people want it, they'll come get it. But the amount of MM will stay at 100. So whether it's in the liquidity pools or in the wallets, it's basically but, just having but let's like... Say, let's, let's say your stock at your range, uh, your, your range is 40 to, uh, to 80. No, mm -hmm. 45, 45 to 80. And now you're all in MM. Mm -hmm. And once you hit the 45 mark, you're going to start converting your MM. MM and that makes a wall, yes. But mm -hmm. because you're out of range now, Maybe I know if no, you the take tokens out... are the tokens are being yeah. held. They're just frozen yeah. tokens. It's basically a person who's holding it. It won't change yeah. Yeah. much. Yeah, it, it's like you're holding the token. Yeah, once you're out it, of the okay. range, it's, you're just holding the token. Yeah, it just but depends on how big the liquidity pool is. It definitely depends on how big the liquidity pool is, though. Yeah, there is a difference so, because a holder is holding their coins in their own wallet and those coins are not being offered for trading, either for buying or for selling. You can only buy or sell from liquidity pool providers. That's why it's so important. Everybody else who is just holding and did not create a pool is basically a holder, but it's like he's out of the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, what and that's, that is actually what... Type, type of example. I, I, I would I just want to ask her because um, you, you watch these whales and you, I see you're doing some analysis on, on this holder uh, accounts. Uh, we had the other day, I think it was yesterday, a whale that had 2.4% and he's gone now. Did he yeah. maybe, did he maybe he's not completely switch gone. to you? Did he sw swap from, uh, is he in Uniswap V3MM? Is he providing liquidity? Because um, we have I one, can... we have one on the fourth place here that has two point four. I was thinking that well is gone. Maybe he just switched to providing liquidity. You can go on his so account address see... and see what kind of uh, ERC twenty transactions he made. And usually the liquidity transaction will be based on multi calls. So you will see something like uh, several calls 
packed into one call and made by Uniswap uh, back and forward. So this is usually the indicator I, that it was a liquidity pool creation. I have the address handy if you would like to take a look at that. I don't know how to send it to you though. Uh, yeah. You could probably DM was, him on here. Yeah. Pardon? You could probably DM him on here. Just like mess like okay. on his user and yeah, just, no, uh, just and download the, the photo and share it on the screen. Okay, who is it that I should send this to? Or uh, the truth will set you free. He's probably towards the bottom. Okay, or, thank or you, you very much, guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have Tom Tom towards the end. I don't have the truth will set you free. Um, the one who's live streaming right now, just send that over to him. Oh, he's right at the top. That's yeah, yeah, is. yeah. Just the name, the okay. name. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I just I sent you the rail address, the one that had about two point four percent. Yeah. So what uh, I saw me... was that about eighteen thousand eight hundred uh, points. Yeah, yeah. Were it's, it's not the, the same address. It's not okay. the same address. It's that this is not this is not the guy. This this is a liquidity pool. Yeah, I remember this address now when you send it. Uh, DD B seven. See. This this is the the address, so I'll, I'll pass it pass it here so everybody can see the address. <laughs> I feel like I'm spying on people when I do this, but I it's it honestly I'm learning so much from this. But um, last time I checked, which was before I fell asleep, but, but it was he, still he about still five point nine. See, he still 5, has. Yeah, so he didn't so sell his whole bag. So he's still... Can you please send me the uh, wallet address? Is you... Who's who would like uh, that you... wallet address? Uh, Mario, it's, that, it's like a lion picture. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has a lion picture. On <laughs> okay. The yellow. <laughs> the, no wait, it's yeah. a blue and pink lion picture. <laughs> Mario is my name. Okay. Um. Yep, I can definitely send that over to you. Awesome. Thank you. So that's that's no basically. Problem. Uh, so he's still in the game. He's not that yep. big, but he's still there. Yeah. Big. Yep. The the whale that I noticed from yesterday too. It, it was interesting because the top four accounts all decreased, and the whale that bought in at like eleven thousand, twelve thousand million tokens yesterday or the day before became the top holder. And I did notice that, like, at the prices that they were buying at, they they lost. They took a loss on whatever position they they yeah. held. Yes, yeah. definitely. No, the, you, the thing you have to understand here is uh, this could be kids buying loads of tokens when this was $1, $1, and they're not traders. They don't know what in the hell they are doing. They're going back and forth, selling, panicking. They're... they're <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know who's holding this wallet. This, right. this is not some financial institution that has 10 people sitting there discussing what they're going to do, what, what's the next move. This is some yeah. person that got lucky and got in when, when it was one uh, USD and uh, now now they don't know what the, in the hell they're doing. That, mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. we are, we're left in the hands of, of who knows, who knows. Mm -hmm. So, okay, going back, sorry, quickly to that question that I had. So, um, like we see in Uniswap right now, we've got 44,613 um, million token. How much of those would be locked up in a liquidity pool? It depends. But that's the liquidity pool. Yeah, that's, that's all that of it. That is the liquidity. That's all of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you're like trying to like pinpoint like where most of them are located, mm -hmm. it's spread throughout. It depends on like what your liquidity pool is set to, like your range and how many you have. Oh, so when you say that is the liquidity pool, when I look down lower at Uniswap V3 MM and there's 18,000 tokens, is are those the only tokens available to be purchased then? If those are the uh, liquidity pool tokens, then yes. Yeah, I think that, that those are the ones that are stock. Yes, yes. I think they're the ones that are stock, that, that are uh, out of the range. And the upper ones yeah. are in the range. And look at the tech lead. He has 14%. So he could buy all of them at one time and then provide them again. 
Yeah. But at a higher price to the to the new traders, he could make double. I don't know what he's doing. He he should he should buy all of those coins back that he sold at at first. No, buy I them. think he wants to make That's this organic, possible. like doing something. Go ahead, Mario. That's not possible because uh, we are thinking of them as uh, in terms of theoret like theoretically they are one pool, but practically they are not one pool. They are several people. So if he starts buying from them, the price will go up. It, it, it exactly. can't just buy them all at once. He would be paying, yeah, he'd be paying a huge, huge fee at the very end. And and th that's the mathematics behind the token, right? Like, as that supply drops, the price of the next token that's going to be purchased is that much more. And, yeah. like, I remember, pardon? Yes, 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 you are right. Yeah, and I and so that's why that's just why I'm watching these numbers, and I and I I don't know how these numbers react and relate with the liquidity pools but i do remember that when we were you know upwards of 170 190 200 right i would go to buy say one token and it would be 190 if i wanted to buy six tokens it was like 196 like that's how um scarce the coins were becoming back in the day or like when it was at that point so yeah it just i, I am curious if there is a function of how much liquidity that's provided by our liquidity pools and if people were to claim them and put them back in their wallets, if that would actually make our price go up. I think I've lost everybody. If you remove the liquidity and put them into the wallet, if that's going to reduce the price, uh, increase is, the price. Is this going to increase the price? No. No, that that would be worse for us because the, worse, the less liquidity they have there sell. is, yeah. the less people can actually buy and sell. It doesn't it doesn't just apply for buy; it applies for right. selling as well. Correct. That's why when you set up a liquidity pool, whether the price is going up or down, as long as it's in your range, you are collecting those fees in a positive that way. You're basically stocking a store. We we are we are like providing the the product for people who want to sell or or we are going to purchase it from them. Exactly. Going back, and if there is no product, then there is no profit, no matter the price. So yeah, so dead. the 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 token is the disco weird the floor and you're the dancers. Yes, something <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I mean, you can at the end of the day, we can think of uh, liquidity just like uh, buying from a central exchange, but it's not really central. So if you go to buy from that exchange and tell it uh, in the real idealistic world, they don't have any uh, stocks to give you, then it doesn't matter if the stock is 100, 1 or $1,000. They don't have a stock to give you. That's it. Yeah. But what if they had one stock to give you and that was the only stock? Would that then, create then... It's like yes. buying tickets to like going to a game, right? At the beginning they're cheap and like everybody's if people more people want to go to the game, then more people are gonna be paying a price. And you'll see that there's scalpers, there's some people there's like vendors. They're they're, they're gonna sell it to you and some people are gonna buy those tickets as quickly as they can and they're gonna sell it right next to them but at a higher price. So the, quick, the important yeah, word here is quickly to answer uh, Leoness's question. If there's only one stock, the price will be higher, but not for long because that stock will be snatched. It's, it comes, he who comes first, or how do you say it in English? He who comes first will be served first. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So that price might be 500 and then they buy it and then that's it. And then there is no more stock. 